uh, I'll present a bit on the the land transport office land transportation office guidelines. Um, uh, Nashbrook, uh, could you kindly load the? So uh, no, uh, actually, I think we could first have a survey on this one. I believe we have ready one or two slides on that. Uh, we just want to get a better understanding of how it's also perceived in general. And uh, for those who are joining us today and this afternoon, uh, whether you're coming from uh, Pasig or not, could you give us an insight on how well you know the local regulations pertaining to the registration requirements? Um, I guess in also in your city, are you familiar with the operational requirements, uh, with the operation, operational use, etc.? So uh, actually, when we the consultations on that, uh, we have been part of some of those discussions before. And actually there, we have an existing guidelines uh, dating back from 2006, I believe. And in 2009 uh, also, then uh, each right, I believe also back in 2015. And the goal of this recent uh, land transportation office administrative order um, is to consolidate uh, these guidelines that have been issued in the past. So we will give an overview of that and see uh, if there are further challenges and if there are questions on this and perhaps one of the follow-up activities coming out of this training and discussion uh, would be to uh, somehow dive deeper into the, the Philippine cities and the, the, the land transportation office uh, regulations. So could we now open the floor for uh, questions? If there are questions also coming out of the from the Pasig side, um, that would also be most welcome. If you're coming from a different LGU and have questions also and clarifications uh, or challenges, uh, we could also uh, uh, entertain that, of course. Uh, and while you're Thinking about that, um, perhaps we can have this other poll and other survey that we have prepared. So this is a more open-ended question uh, coming out as perhaps a word cloud, Nash, I'm not quite sure, but I think it could come out as a, uh, as a list of the questions that you still have after having heard all the presentations today and after hearing the Land Transportation Office AO. Um, what were the areas, um, what are the areas in regulations in general or policy tools at local level um, that need clarification? Um, or what are the challenges that you face, you anticipate facing, have faced uh, in the past uh, on the implementation side? So uh, this will be, anonymous in terms of like uh, when we flash the, the questions there. And this will also help us um, shape the dialogues that we can develop together with the Plastic Transport Office in terms of how do we now foster the policies, uh, the, the use of EVs, especially smaller modes of EVs at the local level um, uh, and, and exploring what are their suitable policy tools. So uh, one question in the chat box uh, from Arnold. Hello, uh, I believe we also had you uh, join us yesterday. Uh, thank you for joining us today again. So the question is uh, the requirement for kick scooters uh, to be used only on private and barangay roads is quite regressive. Uh, it can be a major means of, yes, indeed, mobility for workers. And I see it regularly in the bike lanes in Commonwealth and other major thoroughfares. thoroughfares. Uh, were there any pushback on these during the consultation? Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have not been a part of the extensive consultation that LTO conducted. So we have, I think I was able to join one of the sessions um, back in 2019. So that was um, a year, even 
more than a year before the the issuance of the AO. No, so um, I after it was issued, I believe we saw. I remember we saw a couple of news from July to August uh, regarding the pushback coming from different. Um, users actually themselves so uh, in one of the cities in metro manila um, they implemented these uh, the the ao already and um and the traffic enforcers um i think they gave them tickets uh, for uh, yeah i think they they for the e-bikes and e-scooters they also got tickets for that and that quite uh, received some uh, pushback and resistance and you know a lot of CSOs are now wondering uh, had there been an extensive consultation etc cetera, etc cetera. so um, I believe this is something that can be discussed further because uh, during the time that uh, LTO is consulting a lot of agencies now so they were very welcoming of the questions and of the suggestions, um, even coming from CSOs and from different um, entities, I think from Cleaner Asia, uh, we gathered some from um, uh, from international agencies also and from LGUs, and th there was also a draft version of uh, of that one that, that was a uh, uh, a little bit more welcoming. So perhaps there has been some, um, uh, I believe, somewhere in the middle, no, baka. Um, Ang na-adopt lang na, na, na statement of provisions dahil sa dami ng pumapasok na comments and suggestions. So, so perhaps there's some confusion on that. And we can check that further on this one. But uh, I'm happy to uh, continue this discussion also uh, after the session. So we can consult uh, definitely LTO on that one. So... So we have no other uh, questions coming out of the call. Um, so uh, in the interest of time, we can already uh, close the poll first for now. I believe there should be, there would be, um, ah, okay, so there is a question here. Uh, has there been discussions with uh, LTO where the LGU can override the implementation of AO? Can they issue a local policy and that can override some of the provisions of the aforementioned LTO? A very good question, uh, but unfortunately, uh, an area that we would like to also uh, defer to LTO no, on this matter. So they have purview over this uh, issue. So unfortunately, this is not an area that we can conf confidently answer. Uh, but this is something we can check with the likes of LTO and perhaps the ALG can advise us on uh, this uh, this these matters, no, and um, perhaps also um, the there's there could be some discussions also surrounding the uh, the cycling infrastructure that will have to be built because a lot of them are really uh, moving moving them towards the outer mostly, no, so potentially the the direction here might be you know really pushing uh, the, the local government units into. Um, providing or building the infrastructure, investing in this infrastructure. So um, I believe we can uh, reach out to LTO to get an, uh, some clarity on this question. 